Yeah, I'm on board with Edward Spool. Wait, really quick before we get to that, what were you gonna say about Strauss Um, Zelnick? Dude, you're gonna love this. So you you know, I I I know. So do you you explain who he is? Yeah. So there's this guy named. So there's this guy named Strauss. How do you pronounce his last name? I think is right. Zelnick. Uh, I'm I'm just doing this off memory, so correct me. I think he's the CEO of uh, a pu- uh, Take Two Interactive, which is basically the owner or creator of uh, and Grand Theft Auto yeah. and like and like eight other games that are of that caliber. So like uh, maybe like a five or ten billion dollar a year company that owns like the biggest video games in the world, and he's probably in his mid yep. to late fifties. And he looks like a G.I. Joe. <laughs> so he's say. this like jacked dude who gets up at like 5 a.m. in New York and works out really hard. And a lot of people are invited to go work out with him. Um, but it's all like high caliber, get after yes, it type of That's exactly folks. right. So he created a kind of like, I call it the breakfast club, but it's basically like a morning, a morning workout club. And Ben, you can Google this. So there's a, a YouTube video that's called Strauss Zelnick's Invitation Only Fitness Club. It's a two minute video. So it's just like really easy to watch. And you can see basically um, when you go to it, it's like he goes, he goes, I made a decision that I was going to treat fitness as a like important part of my schedule. So like, okay, I'm a CEO. If I had a board meeting, I w- I'm not going to skip it or move it because I'm feeling tired. Right. So he's like, I'm going to treat fitness the same way that I would treat uh, like, like a, like a meeting or family time or whatever. Like I'm going to put it like first order importance. and then. He's like, but, you know, how do I, like, juice this up? And I'm a big fan of this. This is a a big life hack, which is multiply activities. So, you know, like, I've done this before, too, which is you want to hang out with cool people or have friends, but you you don't, you know, you you only have maybe, like, one hour of recreation a day. So are you going to choose fitness or friends? Well, even better, let me just find friends who like fitness and let's work out together, right? You do this all the time. I do this, too. And so what he did was he was like, all right, we're going to wake up at five or six in the morning um, in New York and they go somewhere and do a different fitness related activity. It doesn't matter how fit you are, although the pictures that they share, like everybody's got like a six pack. Um, Everyone's jacked. And then it's called like the program. And it's basically like kind of networking, kind of friends hanging out and kind of fitness all at once. Uh, But instead of being kind of each of them, actually, that's the wrong way to say it. It's it's like the hundred percent of each of those, (laughs) because when you work out with somebody, it's like the New York banker style yeah, exactly. of doing it. And this. so they get up, they do something different every day. And um, and he like would pay for it. So he's like, all right, if we're doing this activity, like money is not going to be the object that stops somebody from doing this. So I'll, I'll just cover it for our whole group. And we'll just go do whatever the heck activity we want to do. And so the guy's in great shape. He's like, oh, I love it because I get to hang out with like a bunch of like really interesting, motivated, like kind of 20 or 30 year olds that are like pushing me to a be more fit and like don't be the old man. But also, like, these are really talented, ambitious people who are who see the world differently than me, right? And so I thought this is just a fantastic idea. And um, Ben told me a friend of a friend of a friend of his was was doing it. And uh, I was invited when I was in New York, but for some reason the scheduling didn't work out. I couldn't go. But yeah, they well, get up early. Well, that's the beauty of it, they right? Up, so they... how do you prevent this from being just the moochers show up who just want you know just the, the networking and all that? You make it at six a.m. Uh, and you make the fitness thing kind of hard. <laughs> That's the fil- filter that will self-select for the type of person you want to be around for this kind of thing. I just hate working out at 6 a.m. I hate working out. Dude, I, work I thought out you'd be all about it because, uh, like, you know, the harder the better for you. I, yeah, like, I would go. But, like, the problem with my my issue with working out at 6 a.m. means I've got to wake up at, like, yeah. 5.20, which means I've got to go go to bed at, like, 9.00. And if I have to go to bed at nine, I'm in bed at nine and I'm so anxious thing, saying to myself, if I don't go to sleep now, like I'm not going to be able to wake up. But I get so anxious about waking up early that it makes right. it not fun. Totally, for me. totally. You know and what the, I mean? The, the th- I, I, I hate I, that. I, I don't work out early. I work out as a midday break every day. So I, I work out I like at that too. 3 p.m. every day. And uh, and actually, I, I pretty much stop working at that point. And then I come back and I start working again at like 11 p.m. or midnight. And so I don't have to wake up early. And I have a bunch of energy when I do that. But the the, the, the takeaway for this for me, um, the voice in my head when I heard this, I go, oh, yeah, I forgot. Sean, build your cult. And um, I think that's just like the takeaway. Is I think that's you got to build your cult. It's like do the things you want to do. Uh, open them up so that others can do them with you. 
do them in a way that's like slightly hard and everybody's making a bit of a, a everyone's stretching themselves in some way because that's the sacrifice and the buy-in the blood oath that you want in your cult and like just fucking build your cult be around the type of person you want to be around dude this is this is why I exactly. you're building your cult that's a great example i was doing it the, i'm the like general I, assembly I, guy what did he do uh daybreaker yeah daybreaker it was like a 5 a.m. party with no alcohol. Build your cult, drugs. right? Like, what do I want? I want to start my day. And yeah, people I want to start my day with a bunch it. of energy, dance, blah, blah, blah. But I don't want alcohol and music. I don't like nightclubs. So I'm going to bring. I'm gonna build my own cult. That's awesome. Uh, all right. Did you have anything else you wanted to do? Or so, should we wrap it? Uh, wrap 